that's not in Nigeria. The year is 1986. Afros and baggy trousers are fashion statements. Our economy is crashing faster than anything. Coup d'etat are a norm for Nigerians. And canteens were an option to take your crush to. So with how sad the nation was, we needed hope. And surprisingly, the hope we needed came in the form of a food brand. And with this brand, a lot of Nigerian problems remained the same to be honest <laughs> but this time we had a good distraction and in the midst of everything bad one thing that brought nigerians together was the television but in 1986 it did not look like the recent 5k ultra hd six calls x-ray vision that we have come to love now but back then it was this clunky device that only the rich could afford and the kids who could risk their life by standing on a fence the sad part was the tv stations always had to change their light supply at the middle of wonderful shows <coughs> you killed my dad no boy I married him. Damn man, that was my favorite part. So with this level of storytelling on TV, you can imagine how people felt when they saw this ad. Enjoy your new world of experience in delicious snacks, Mr. Biggs. Prizes galore. Yes, there are prizes galore in the Mr. Biggs 7-Up Christmas promotion at 51 Marina. Like take a minute to see how beautiful this ad was. I know for a fact that no Nigerian got this experience. But the guy saluting really showed me the director wanted the patriotic Nigerians to cry. And what added to Mr. Big's growth was that they literally had no competition except canteens. And until those guys found a way to make ads, <laughs> they were like this girl. Fox. Swiss Cessation, who would be known for being the first outlet to feature more local foods, wouldn't come out till 1994. So with this huge gap, you can understand how Mr. Biggs dominated the market. And don't get me wrong, there were other restaurants at this time. The only issue was they were like Android users who knew how to edit pictures. It will always look bad in the end. <laughs> But Mr. Biggs was known for more, not just their propagandish style of ads or being the first major restaurant. Because you see, for you to be an eatery in Nigeria, you need to be known for one thing. Chicken Republic is known for their chicken, but their rice looks like you begged them for food. Let's not even talk about their moe moe. Let's not go there because this video will never end. Domino's is known for their wonderful array of pizza. And in some African countries, eating pizza is known as a privilege. And let's not forget, they are also known as the company that won't give me free pizza. The difference between this new companies and Mr. Biggs where their pros outmatched their cons. The menu of Mr. Biggs was like an IG model that knows how to use Photoshop and also did surgery. And also is wearing a waist trainer. You will never be finer than them. Their meat pie was like sex. Hey, you can do it alone, but if you want to finish well, you needed this. And hey, <laughs> if you wanted it to be better, you needed to add two of this. That's just my piece. Oh. The pepper chicken was so good that the only way to enjoy it fully was if the pepper entered your eyes. People who bought their yam porridge are all wanted criminals, and I think that's the only con they have. The jangilova was, <laughs> the jangilova was playable, but a ticking time bomb. It gave you a specific time, and as soon as your time was up, you magically enjoyed yourself. And after that, the joy just faded away. I think as a kid, the worst part about leaving the building was the fact that after getting so much echo conditioning you leaving the building felt like they were kicking you back into poverty it shocks me how the new generation goes around not knowing what mr biggs is or was i know the old saying all good things will come to an end Eventually. <laughs> and this is evident in their case. They were forced to reckon with, but their lack of competing with newer brands was their biggest mistake and also the best thing to do. Because you see, Nigeria has changed and we have so many things to distract us that restaurants like this are outdated. You have newer franchises that charge so much that you wonder if you are paying for the food and also buying shares in the company. So with this, I don't see them lasting with these newer tyrants. So yeah, Mr. Biggs, save your money and sue everyone that bought yam porridge in your company. Thank you very much. Hey guys. Mr. Biggs is not dead, it's still available um, if they want to sponsor this hungry YouTuber. I am willing to take anything, even meat pie. <laughs> Guys, also if you want to put money, carry money from your pocket and put it in my pocket, join my Patreon, also listen to my podcast with my sister and my family members and some of my friends and a lot of my friends to be honest. It's called Zero Expectations Podcast, it's on every platform. 
Um, yeah, thank you guys. I'm sorry I'm taking two, two weeks to make videos, but yeah, the next video is coming out next week by this time. Alright, bye guys.